Wellington Road in Newark. Nothing but rats, services. Holy shit. Well, I would say that that calf's only a couple of hours old. She's still licking it clean. Oh, I'm not bothering you, girl. I mean, you get on with it. Well, I've come out on a cave camp with uh, we prep Nomad Pop and uh, we seen Reedy, Jay and Ray do this uh, about a year ago. It looks impressive and to tell you the truth, I'd never never been to this cave so it's the first time for me. I've heard a few folks have been to it. Uh, we're going to have a camp in it. We've parked up in Chelmorton and we have like zigzagged <laughs> as way to this point. I ain't got no maps or satellite phones. And so we think we know where we are, which is always a good, a good point. So I'll bring you back and get somewhere near. Well, I would say it's round this area, and I've got a feeling it's down that way. But we're on top of this this ridge now, so. I would say that we've got to get down into the into the tail. Great quarry there. I didn't think it was as far up as the quarry. But, uh, we'll double back and uh, we've took a wrong path somewhere. So we'll double back and head that area. It's only uh, I think it's 12, 12 o'clock. So we've got, we've got all day. We've got all day to hang around here. Well, we're making his way down these uh, little slippery slopes, and believe me, we all rain that we've had. They are slippy and they're sort of zigzagging the way down down to the bottom. And I'll tell you something, there's some lovely, lovely meadow flowers here. And we're heading that way. And if we can't find out, then we'll head that way. And if there's no down there, we'll head that way. I'll let you know if we get anywhere. I think we've finally arrived at the one that we're looking for. Uh, now when Dean and uh, Jay Ray did it, it was winter and uh, you can't see the cave on the other side of the valley as yet. We might even be at the wrong cave but I'll catch you later when I get up there. Well there we are. It's the, it's the right cave anyway and the one that Dean climbs up to must be the one there. Yeah, you can't sit, really see it much here because there are all trees that's grown. I mean, to tell you the truth, for me, this is really, it would definitely be more of a, a winter view than a, than a summer view, even though, I mean, it's beautiful. But anyway, this is the cave of the abode tonight. Apparently, you could get really deep into this cave on different levels um, as I'm looking at this now the ground is damp there is a fire pit in here uh, with wood and uh, oh yeah I don't think we have a fire in here but I've bought some candles anyway uh, I'm going deeper in now so I'm going to save this till later till we're all unpacked and uh, have a wander in. 
So I'll bring you back later. We have definitely walked a different way in. It has took us back to two mile, Paul. You can't hear me, I'm in the cave. Look at that, it looks like an eye. The eye of the cave. Well, I've had a little exploring cave. I'm going to get unpacked first, Paul, or at least bring my bag up. Uh, and with the fire pit, you come to Martha Cave here. Another fire pit here. And a stack of wood. Help yourself. I mean, yeah. They carried that wood in, I know how to feel. I ain't carried any wood today, like. Right? Well. We'll see how far we go in later. Well, we're doing this a bit of a snack. Paul's going its coffee on. We're having a, a cheese and chutney cob. I think it's Wensleydale and apricot in there. And of course, every kid's favourite, the laughing cow cheese spread. This one's the mature cheddar light. Thinking there, thinking of health and that. But uh, we're not, we're not set it up yet. We could call this a picnic, Paul. Picnic at the cave. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a snack. We've got a, a triangle of laughing cow, cheese and chutney cob, with uh, a topping of, uh, I think it's Wensley, well, it's yellow cheese and apricot. Mmm, just what you want. And coffee. Well, I think Martha Cave, we've been here a couple of hours, me and Paul, really, just chatting. Been a load of people uh, passing through, 20s and 30s at time. But it's uh, calmed down now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do my cave exploration. Uh, I don't know how far I'm going to get. I'm not a caver. It was quite impressive. And uh, then I'm just going to get back and chill out. So, uh I'll get on with things. I would say there's one or two fire pits in here. Uh, I won't going to put this in, but that, I mean, that is uncalled for. We are going to bag that up. I'm not going to say that we're going to take all that out of here, but we are going to bag it up. is a bit slippy in places. Some graffiti here. I don't know, 1885, 1890. Well, this does go down into another level. It's like all cobblestones here, and believe me, it is a bit slippy. So, I'm going to make my way down into there, but I'm going to turn the camera off. Dead impressive place. Right, dinosaur frame there, look. Skeleton. So, I'll bring you back when it's a bit safer. Well, that area there is very slippy so I'm making my way down here yeah. see what happens wow yeah quite a big chamber under here so I'm gonna steadily make my way down there get this roof 
It is a bit wet down here. Pretty good. I don't think this is picking it up. This is looks brilliant here under that ledger there. Uh, different. I mean, that looks as though it could be a mudslide from up there. But it's uh, rock hard. Well, it's very wet and muddy here, and I would love to go down there, but sensors telling me, keep going away, Steve. Uh, I'd have to drop down onto that ledge. Uh, it's very muddy, and as I can see, as I'm bending over here, there is a, another good bit of a drop. So after that, I don't know if there's any more of a drop, and I don't think Paul will be very amused if he has to call mountain rescue through stupidity but brilliant this place I mean I'll turn this torch off uh, Paul ain't come this far in but I'll turn this torch off and show you how dark this is and it's quiet as hell apart from dripping at water are you listening to that silence Yeah, I'll leave that out. I mean, even though I've got my walking boots on, believe me, it is very slippy in here. You won't want to, to fall over. We've already heard one bloke fall over in here. Right, I'm going to climb my way out, get back to Paul, get some food on. Well, that bit there took a bit of a busy going out on, actually, for an old man. But anyway. Whew. I hate this when you can't get a good foothold. Anyway, I'm back to Martha Cave. So <laughs> I'm gonna have a brew. Well, Paul's gone down the chamber, so fair play to him because he's usually very sensible about these things. So uh, it is something that you've got to see. Looks like bones. Well, we was just going to do part two of his uh, cave exploring. Uh, Paul went further in after what I did and he found a uh, new a new tunnel that I missed. I was concentrating on going down through that uh, triangle. Paul found one uh, further up, so I'm going to get back there. We're going to do that, but there's people coming up to a very, very busy place. Uh, we've just had a couple come up that's just got engaged today. Isn't that right, Paul? And they bought a bottle of champagne uh, up. Louise, uh, and what were they? Uh, Gareth and Louise. Gareth and Louise, literally just 10 minutes ago, we wanted to be here, so... And uh, just got engaged. You're going to get married in Los Angeles, isn't it? Or are well, they going to Las Los Angeles? Vegas. Las Vegas, wherever, wherever America, anyway. And uh, they shared a champagne with us, so we cracked open the buffalo bottle and shared a bit of, bit of brandy with them. And we've opened now. We're taking a tip from AZ here uh, with his beer reviews. This is the, the Wolf Warning. Easy, you must have had it. It comes in at 5.3, 180 from Tesco's. We're not giving it <laughs> TSO, a TSO, answer, TSO. Though. And we've got, I've only bought two cans, so. And some brandy. And so, uh, I'll get into that later. But uh, as it goes, double, double brewed lager, 180. Yeah, I suppose so. 
Well, it's about half six, and me and Paul now are going to venture deeper into into uh, tunnel. I'm not going to video it all. Well, I'm going to uh, stop videoing on the area that we left off. We are going down together. It is going deeper into the cave. We're trusting as bags on this uh, ridge here. Uh, <laughs> I'll uh, bring you back when we get to the area we haven't been to. Get down there, I think. It looks like I'm going to get down there. I'm not going to get. I'm going to get wedged. Well, Paul's gone as far as he's wanted to, so I'm going to. Uh, well, I've never been down there, so I'm going to see how far I can get. But there's little little tunnels everywhere. I'm going to make my way down there. Is it tight? It were, I think you'll have an easy job for me, but I, I had another drop and I think if I drop down it looked like I was going to get further so I didn't drop down. No, I'm not going to turn around. Yeah. Well that's what he's talking about. I've been down that, it's just like the wire. Like yeah, I can see where you mean, but I've got, I've, I'm, I reckon I'll go down to the bottom, but I'm going to turn this camera off because it is a bit muddy, isn't it? It is a bit muddy on the side. I'll be like leaning up on the edge. Let's see what happens. Well, from this stage, you are crawling. It is very wet. I've got very wet coming down here. Uh, you got Paul up there. Uh, Looks, you can see where all the water's coming down. But. I mean, as I look at that now, on that thingy, yeah. I mean, you've got a bit size of a badger to uh, to be crawling through there. So, I mean, this is as far as I'm going to go. In fact, I think that's as far, unless you're a proper skinny caver, that's as far as, uh, it is muddy, that's as far as you're going to get if you're just having a, having a wander. Uh, yeah, we'll get back out, Paul, yeah? Yeah, bang on. It's good then. Yeah, you won't. Uh, you started looking like wider with light, and then you have new controls of things. As I'm down here now, Paul, that to me, you've got to be a rabbit at the end of there. Right, it's hands and knees, Yeah, and in this mud, I'm, I'm not doing it. Well, there's graffiti rock. 18. 90s, 1893, pencil, this looks like. And uh, down there is where them triangle caves are, where it goes underground. Willie Nelson, 1900. Yeah, be interesting to see if uh, it was put down at that time. Well, impressive stuff. Don't you reckon, perhaps? It's really interesting, yeah. Very impressive stuff. So, like, stalactites falling up here. Yeah. Yeah. Right, mate, let's get back. Well, I'm uh, glad I'd, oh, I didn't went as far as I did in there, but uh, what it is, I have got a bit, a bit muddy. We were very muddy in that last, in that last bit. But well worth doing. But anyway, now we're just chilling out. I was going to go for a walk round, round some of this area, but what it is, it's, uh, it's summer. You can't really see into into cliffs when you're down in uh, in valley. So I'll leave that for a winter camp. Apart from that, I think we're just going to chill out now, get some food on, and. Uh, well, I've only got one can of beer left, so, and half a bottle of brandy. So, uh, just chill out, get some candles on in a bit. Well, my pot noodle is done to perfection. So, now I'm going to add the beef in black bean sauce. Mmm. 
And that's my dinner for tonight. I'm gonna, I've got some cheesy bread left as well. Yeah. That's not bad. I'm not going to say it's the best thing I've tried. And then... We're just going to chill out. Get some candles on in a bit. Get his bed together. There's just the shelves here, look. Rubbish bag. Well, here's my setup for tonight, anyway. Uh, Paul's set up down there. And uh, there's my, uh, my stuff. I've got a bit of a brandy coffee there. There's me, uh, candles. I've got a beer that Paul's given me that I haven't opened yet. And I've got a, a life and death. And uh, here, it's just a, a bivy bag. And uh, I've took blue raw mat inside bivy bag. And I've got sleeping bag. On outside, it's not going to be a cold night. I bet you I'll, I'll not even probably get in bivy bag here. Yeah. I'll just sleep on top of there. If it does get cold, I've got a, a soft shell when the daughter's bought me, and this is a buy from a charity shop. It's one of them uh, down filled coats, I think it's 12 quid in Buxton. I don't know much about names, but it's interchangeable. It's uh, Land's End. Uh, I don't know what kind of social standing they they take but it is it is a warm coat in fact Kaz wears that more than me so anyway I have bought uh, I mean I bought Amex and tops I've even got a Gore-Tex old coat here because I was expecting it to rain uh, the last couple of times we've been out it's rained all week so what well, that's so I come prepared well that's my setup anyway it's a beautiful cave probably my video will go on uh, a long time basically about this cave, but uh, I do love these things. This has been going maybe 20 minutes now. Uh, so far, so good. Burning well, actually. So, Paul's got various candles knocking about. Uh, so, we'll, we're all fed and watered. So, we'll just watch, uh, watch the night come in now. This video's going on a bit. Well, that's what it's looking like with candles. This ain't picking this up really well, but for me, it's looking all red. Uh, we have got a few candles out. Paul's there at entrance. Um, I'll put light on camera. Well, that's with light on on camera. Uh, you've got Paul set up here. Oh, they have gone on to, uh, to a bit of a ledge there. Well, I'll, I think I'll be quite comfortable on that. We've got his candles burning. Uh, these that I've got are made out of uh, pine cones and wax. I think I've already said that. And now, after his visitors, his visitors have gone. They, uh, they didn't seem to want to. Well, they said they're going to look for a place to stop, and they might be back. But, uh, but anyway, they gave us uh, a dead pony club. So I reckon we're going to crack that open. Fancy a bit of dead pony, Paul? Give it a go. Dead right. A nice lip of that. I'll catch you later. Well, we're spoiling ourselves here. We're getting into this 85% cocoa plain chocolate. Major brand. I like it. What do you reckon, Paul? It's different, yeah. It's sort of, it does bring back memories. It's of the old uh, Irish raspberry ripples. Yeah? Must have made it many moons ago. I'm still, I'm still at the Pony Club. I am. We've got a uh, one. At, we've got a candlelight cave. I'm just sat on there. It's a beautiful night. You can't see it here because it's dark. Right. 
Well, I've had to get up because it's proper, it's proper rain in here, and it sounds brilliant from in there. I just thought it would rustle at trees, but now it's hammering it down. Uh, and that candle has started to spit now because rain's hitting it, and it's sounding uh, pretty good from up there. I mean, Paul, Paul is well asleep, but I'm camping on this ledge here. And this rain sounds absolutely brilliant. Good morning. Well, that was another warm night. Uh, absolutely threw it down at night. And uh, I think it's still raining now. Uh, it's, uh, it's only six o'clock. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up and dine for a week. And uh, get a kettle on. I'll get a brew on. Oh, I'll pan you around. Prep room had the steering. Yeah. Uh, what a place to wake up. Yeah. <coughs> like I say, I wasn't cold in this. I've just got summer bag. I wasn't cold in that. Uh, did absolutely hammer it down at night. But it is very dry in here. Uh, uh, I'm going to get up and make a brew, I think. Well, I don't think we're hanging about this morning. Uh, I'm getting a brew on. The old colour gas. This ledge here has kept very dry, actually. Yeah, excellent camp. Loved it. So we shall have a brew. Move on. Well, that where I slept there is on a on a slight incline there, and I did get a better few hours sleep sleeping on my stomach than what I did on my back. There is a bit of a, a curve, slight curve in that rock, and when I got on my back. I uh, was getting a bit uncomfortable, but uh, yeah, I had a good, good night's sleep. That rain that were coming down, we just, uh, we just deafening. And you got onto the ledge, and it was still dry on the ledge, but you could, he uh, was hammering it down. And uh, but brilliant camp. I don't think I'm going any back down there today, Paulio. Nah, we've done it to death last night. Yeah, we're so... Well, we've done as far as we can go. I think it's... Uh, we're going to clear a few of them bottles away. There's quite a few bottles in that pit there. I don't know whether we're going to take them out of here. We'll uh, certainly bag them up. But, uh, so we can do a bit into it, Tizzy's. Go on with these. And there's his morning coffee. There you are, Paul. A well deserved brew. Cheers, mate. Thanks so much. Well, we have done a bit of a clear up with all this rubbish. Uh, this is where the uh, the glass bottle dumping pit was. I've just moved all wood to it back. Uh, with this fire pit here, same again, uh, a bit of rubbish. Uh, boot fire pit to it back. Uh, it's not looking bad in there. It's not so much of a tripping hazard as well. What I can't understand about it is not only do they bring bo glass bottles and leave them, but they'll they'll smash them uh, and leave them there. Now it's summer. Uh, there's a lot of kids come up here. There were loads of kids come up yesterday. They're walking through there. I'm not saying that they're barefooted, but you know flip flops or out like that, and you, you're going to cut your feet bad. Here yeah, we've got I've got rid of this fire pit as well. I'm not zooming in uh, there. 
I made myself a bit of a, a rock art here, look. Uh, we'll leave it wood there, we're not taking wood. But I think I'll handle that rubbish out there. It is raining a bit if Paul can handle that little blue bag there. So we'll, 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 we'll take the rubbish out. So I can see this video being a three-parter. <laughs> We're on slow pack up and uh, well, we'll get off. Well, we're all packed. Paul has just come out with a, just served up an all day rat pack breakfast. So we're going to eat that and move on. It's been a good camp. Awesome. Well, we're on the move. We're uh, we're about to to head off in a different direction back to uh, Chelmorton. It's been a brilliant camp. Uh, we have got the the bag of bottles and uh, and cans. To tell you the truth, I do get a bit reluctant to take other folks' rubbish out, but. As I look at it now, the first visitors that uh, that come into this cave this morning are going to have a, a litter-free cave, and uh, we've moved fire fire uh, stones as well. So it has been good. It's but, been awesome. Ain't it? Our rubbish up there. Yeah, that that that's our rubbish. That that blue thing. That's rubbish. What we've got, and that's the rubbish that, that we're taking out. Bro broken else's. bottles. And like, anyway, these videos are going on too long. Uh, we're going to walk through uh, down that way. Uh, Paul estimated that we walked three or four miles yesterday to get here, and it should have took us two. But uh, we'll see how far this takes us. So if I don't bring you back, till next time. Bye. Where all other folks' rubbish has gone, including our own. I'm not having a stinking bottles in car out my home, it's not my rubbish. So it's in the the litter bin in Chelmorton. It's been a bit of a trek this has coming out. Lathered. Well that were a, a nice brisk early warning early morning walk back. A back at car. I am a bit boxed in but I'll get out of here. Uh, I'm going to say my goodbyes to Paul. Everything's in back. I've put my trainers on and uh, shoot off home. So, again, the long goodbye. Till next time. Awesome time. <laughs> For definite. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.